Uh, everybody talks about how versatile you are and all that stuff. Is there is there any part of you that sometimes wishes they didn't talk about that as much because maybe it gets lost a little bit about the things you do do well because everybody's like, well, you do all these other you know different things. Yeah, I mean. Um... You just kind of just go back to, to what got me to this point, honestly, and that's just being a defensive playmaker. You know, wherever, no matter what I line up on the field, you know, I feel like I, I do a pretty good job of excelling at whatever position I'm at. And, you know, I've just been blessed and fortunate enough to kind of put that on display last year a little bit. And honestly, I'm just super excited about what's ahead. How's it going? for you throughout this offseason, new team, new defense, and, and all that, and being really solid heading to camp next week? It's been fun, honestly, just it's like like the new kid on the block going to a new school, and uh, it's pretty dope to just kind of, you know, get to know these new faces and, you know, just get to know uh, more about the person and not the football player, you know, about his family, their kids, what they do when they're away from here, and, you know, things like that. And it's been pretty dope, honestly. We got a, got a solid group of guys. Uh, a lot of energy in the room, and I'm just super excited, you know, for, for, for what's ahead, honestly. This will be your third defense during your career. Is, there, is that a difficult adjustment, or is it just something just being, being consistent and working to learn it? Not too much so difficult, I would say. Um, it's, it's just kind of go back to, to being a pro. You know, I'm going into my sixth year, you know, in the league. Like you said, it's my third defense. And, you know, when I, when I was here uh, early on, you know, going over the, the new scheme here, it was – kind of how can I make this like kind of reasonable for me to remember, you know, just based on the defenses I've been in in the past. And that's kind of how I kind of do put it in my different buckets to help me understand the defense better. And I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job of picking up on things. What should the fans here uh, know about this defense? What would you want them to know? I mean, just the phys- that we're going to be physical, you know. Um, that's first and foremost, you know, you, they can't win if they can't run the ball, you know, and that's that's one thing we got to do. We got to stop the run, earn our right to rush the passer. And, you know, we just want to pride ourselves on being physical, being a, a resilient group, and just and just going out there, going to work every day. You sound like Coach Cannon when you say, you know, being physical and stuff. When you, when you look at his coaching style and the, and the leadership style of Marty Al for how much did that play in, in your decision to come here? I mean, honestly, uh, it was it's opportunity for me. You know, obviously, uh, that's what Coach JG wants uh, on this on this organization, and you know, just just people in this building in general. He want physical, accountable, tough people, and I feel like he did a great job with with putting everything together. And you know, we just we just got to continue to just believe in you know everything that he's uh, telling us each and every day, and just go to work. Honestly, I know uh, the coaches love talking about your football character and team first, and that's one of the things that did draw them to you in the first place. I'm curious on a personal level though, like as you reach free agency, were you were you seeking something that was going to maybe let you blossom even further? Uh, or was that not really a part of your thought process? I mean, honestly, you know, you, you, you kind of just go back to, to um, you know, you do all this to, to get this opportunity to, you know, I just go back to last um, off season when I, uh, after I signed my, my one year in New England, you know, I really didn't, didn't have oppor- like choices or decisions. You know, it was like, all right, let's just go back to New England, you know, do what you got to do, and, you know, hopefully next year we end up in a better position. And, you know, this year I was able to kind of see what, see what best fits me and, you know, pick the best decision and things like that. So it's just all about just, you know, waiting on your moment and just taking advantage of every opportunity you get. And here I am a Cardinal, you know, so it's, it's a blessing. And, you know, I'm excited to, to go to work. When you were used off the edge last year, was that mainly the second half of last season? Was that sort of like in third and obvious passing situations? And, and how comfortable were you doing that? Yeah, I mean, um, I rushed in college a little bit, kind of played uh, outside linebacker in high school as well. So it was always there, you know, and I just feel like uh, Coach Mayo and Coach Belichick uh, gave me an opportunity to kind of showcase that when I got to New England because I didn't do it in Cleveland. And, you know, I told them, I'm like, I can pass rush. And they, they gave me an opportunity, obviously. And um, we had a few injuries last season. Junon and Uche went down. And, you know, they were just like, all right, let's, let's give Mac a shot. And, you know, it's just, I just knew I was always, I knew I always had it, you know, athletically. I can bend. I can, you know, I can do a lot of things that, you know, people don't know. And, and then when I'm out there, honestly, it's just, I just I just feel like I can't be stopped, especially on the edge. I guess it's a different feel when I'm on the edge, honestly. Like, it's, if I get a good get off, like, it's wraps.
I feel like. <laughs> how, how, much did, how much did that change, you think, how the league looked at you, being able to get that opportunity? I feel like they still kind of don't know, honestly. I feel like it's still, it's still something like, eh, they're they not really sure. But I feel like this year I'll have opportunity to kind of showcase what type of player I am. When it comes back to stopping the run, and this team did have a problem with the last year, like last against the run, really. I know it's a different team. What's the mindset of guys like you, White, Barnes, to not just to stop it, even if there's – stuff happening in front of you with the blocking mechanisms and the crazy things that coaches will do with offense. How do you how do you fight through that and get the guy down and not let it destroy you? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> stopping the run kind of, it starts up front, honestly. You know, Bilal, Justin, Zavin, BJ, you know, all those defensive guys up front, you know, we, we harp on telling them to start with you guys. Like, they can't run the ball if you guys playing physical up front, getting off the ball. And, you know, just at the second level, third level, with, you know, linebacker safety play and things like that, we got we to gotta be, you know, we got to have a killer instinct, you know, when it comes to guys wanting to run the ball. If somebody want to run the ball on us, we got to make them pay. That's how I look at it, you know. And I love when teams run the ball. Like, I mean, show me you a man, you know, because I'm going to come down here. I know Kaiser going to come down here. I know KB going to come down here. I know Buddha going to come flying down here. So it's going to be exciting to see, honestly. Like, I, I'm just I'm super excited about that. A few times the opportunity. Do you see this as a big opportunity to be on the field on defense a lot more than you have been the last few seasons? I mean, whatever the, whatever coach JG and Nick do, you know, um, whatever whatever role I'm in, I'm going I'm going to try my best to excel at it. And like I said, whatever outside linebacker, linebacker, whatever they want me to do. So I'm definitely up for whatever on the, on the table. So you sign you sign here. That's always, I'm sure, somewhat of a whirlwind process, moving yourself and everything. What has the off time been like since you, you know, since you left? And did you gear it down? Did you do anything interesting? What, what have you? Yeah, I mean, just off season been 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 fun. Um, obviously, the transition from cold to hot has been a little challenging for me. But you know, I grew up in the south, so pretty hot down there, but not as hot as Arizona. Um, and I'm, I stay in Houston, so it's pretty hot out there as well. Um, but South season been pretty dope. Was able to, you know, purchase my mom a home. Um, was able to go back to Cleveland where I was drafted to attend Dave and the Joku charity event, which was pretty dope. And, you know, other than that, it was just all about, you know, just grinding, getting myself prepared, you know, for this next chapter of, of my career. And, you know, that's, I feel, like I, I feel like I did a good job of controlling what I can control within these last few weeks to get myself prepared for, for camp. The, was the home purchase a surprise or? Oh yeah, it, it was. It was. It was. A, it was a surprise. She didn't know. I. Uh, so I had. I didn't. I didn't get her nothing for Mother's Day on purpose. <laughs> and I told my. I told all the ladies in my family. I'm like, I want you guys to drive to Houston. I'm gonna have y'all a woman's weekend or whatnot. And I told them I had them an Airbnb, and they pulled up and she pulled up and she walked in and it was her house. It was like say a welcome home, mom, and things like that. So it was super dope. She yeah she couldn't do nothing but cry she was bawling I got a video on my on my social media it's out there on my Instagram it was a pretty dope experience. For you how, what was that feeling like to be able to provide that moment for your mom who's been there for you the whole time? Man it was it was surreal honestly like I I, I didn't know how to react at the, in the at the moment but like later on that day like I was super emotional because you know just with me being 26 I've accomplished so much you know I defeated so many odds you know a lot of people counted me out and. You know, a lot of people ain't think I would make it this far, you know, and I just, just kept chucking away, kept my head down, always was working, you know, even when things wasn't going my way in my career, you know, I always was working, I always stayed ready, and, you know, here I am now, so just, you know, give all the thanks to God, honestly, and just, I'm just going to continue to keep working, continue to keep proving people wrong. How tough was it to keep that secret and not let her know before she got there? It was tough, honestly, because I'm, I'm texting, I told my sister and uh, my brother, and I'm, I'm, I just knew like it was gonna get back to my mom because my sister talks so much. Like she gonna, <laughs> she gonna see this. So <laughs> she talks so much, and she just kept hitting me up every other day. Like, what, what are we doing? Like, what are we getting her? Well, how are you gonna surprise her? I'm like, relax. Like I got it. You know, and it was, it was fun though. You didn't tell her. No, I didn't tell my mom at all. I told my sister, my siblings. She didn't tell my mom, but my mom kind of felt it though, cause she was talking so much. Sandra Wilson. 
JJ and Rallis always say the defense starts with physicality and violence. What's the difference between those two things? Tell us why. Which is which? How do you get one out of them? Are they the same thing? I mean, you can say it the same. You know, I, I feel like um, you can be physical, but how physical are you? And, you know, when you when you throw the violent word in there, it's, it's about, okay, are you just being physical with just hitting somebody or are you destroying them? I think the violent coming from destroy. You know, and I'm the type of guy, if, if an old lineman want to block me on a run play, I'm going to destroy him. I try my best to destroy him at least. So, I mean, I, I feel like that's the part of just being physical and violent and not shying away, not turning down any hits and just run through somebody's face. I mean, it's that simple, honestly. Does it lead to penalties? No, no penalties. No, we can't play no dumb football. Everyone who's uh, sat up there has pretty much been asked about Marvin Harrison Jr. So what have you seen? Man, he's a pro's pro, honestly. Uh, he's one of the first rookies I've seen who, like, he worked he work his ass off, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I feel like he's ready. You know, he's, he's going he's gonna to play a big role for us this season. going to be a big role of, uh, uh, he's going to be a major part of our success here. And, you know, I can't wait to, to, to share the field with him, honestly. Fair amount of changes on this defensive front. I know it's hard to uh, really get a sense of it without pads, but any takeaways or sense of identity or skill sets so far? Yeah, those guys was turned. This uh, this OTAs, they was they had me. You know, I, I was kind of pretty limited with me coming out surgery and things like that. So I wanted to be out there so bad. You know, as far as OTAs because they was they was out there just they was all over the place. Justin Bilal, you know, the new faces. You know, even Buddha. You know, it, it was it was it was dope to see. So, I'm super excited to be able to really go out there and be full go. You know, this training camp and really get a taste of just you know building that 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 foundation of you know what we want to be as a defense. I'm talking about being the full go and be limited. You feel like starting next week you'll be good to go. I'm good to go now. Yeah, I can go now. How much is the difference with you guys are full pads and going at it? Are you going to know more about what this defense can do? Yeah, I mean, you know, like like they always say, um, you know, people can be heroes in T-shirts and helmets and things like that. You know, I feel like, you know, when you get those pads on, that's when you really can, you know, get a feel of 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 where of where a player is at or how you feel like or where you where this defense gonna be or where this offense gonna be because you can you can be a football player, you know. So, I feel like when you get the pads on, that's when you can really start to 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 kind of like build the identity of what you want this defense to be physically, if that makes sense. You mentioned Coach Belichick. What was it like playing for him, and what did you take away from your experience with him? Coach Belichick is a GOAT, honestly. Um, you know, like I said, like I, like I told you guys before, playing on the Coach Saban and Coach Belichick is, is crazy. You know, something that I, I can't wait to tell my son when he get older. And, and you know, Coach BB is just – he. He, he's saving, but you know he's a little more not as playful as saving. I say, you know, and he just he's just all about work. Honestly, just I mean he he gonna chew you out. He's gonna hold you accountable, and he just I don't know. He just he gonna bring the best out of you. One of the best coaches I've ever played under, and you know like I said, I'm I'm grateful and honored to for him to even let me rush the passer last year. For him to believe in me to do that, you know that says a lot. You know about what I can be as a football player. And, you know, he, he told me he always believed in me. Uh, I talked to him uh, this past offseason after free agency. And, you know, he just told me how proud of he was of me and, you know, that, that he was proud how I took the next step of, you know, becoming a, a pro and just being able to go out there and rush the passer. Like, you know, he was just happy for me, honestly. Because you're both TV guys now. So what do you think? When you see him on TV, what do you think? That'd be funny. Um, Saban, Saban, I feel like Saban more funnier than BB on on, uh, on TV. Coach Belichick still be trying to be all serious and stuff. We tell him he got to loosen up a little bit. So, what was your thought when uh, you mentioned Mayo when when he got that job? Were you happy for him? Oh yeah, definitely. Coach Mayo obviously was my position coach the last two years. Uh, one of the closest coaches I've ever been uh, been like had a relationship with, honestly. And you know, I mean, it was tough to to not go back there, um, but. You know, I had to, you know, do what was best for me and my family. You know, at the end of the day, um, we play this game to to get the opportunity that we deserve. And like I said, I I worked my ass off the last five years to to get to this point. And um, he understood that. And you know, he's still my dude to this day. You know, uh, he's a guy who developed a relationship with my family, my kid. You know, like a big brother to me. So, you know, it's always gonna be love. Have you 
has it been getting to know Kaiser and what really stands out about him? Kaiser is an alpha male, honestly, you know, great leader. Um, can't wait to share the field with him. Uh, really just been been picking his brain, you know, all OTAs, you know, with both of us kind of being pretty limited, just just really just been trying to, you know, we've been going over calls and stuff on the sideline. He randomly asked me what you got on this call, what you got on this call. And, you know, that's just something that I appreciate because, I mean, really didn't have that as much in my career, you know, and it just shows me how much he care and, you know, how much he's he's willing to, to you know, pour into me to, to maximize myself. So it's going to be dope to, to be out there with him. You mentioned a uh, ranking that you guys were left off of. How, how much do you look at that kind of stuff? Man, I see it. Honestly, I mean, you can't help but see it, you know. And, I mean, the last few years, like, people act like they still don't know who I am, man. And that's okay, you know. I mean, this year I had the opportunity to show the world, you know, what type of player I am. And, you know, it's just the beginning for me. Like, it's, I promise you, like, I don't want to do too much talking, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, though.